My name is Pete Hoffman. I'm from Collinsville, Illinois. i uh, been married to my beautiful wife, Barb, for 43 years. have uh, two kids, three grandkids, and I love Jesus. Yeah, I've been in Collinsville my whole life. Uh, was raised in the church um, as a youngin, and, uh, but I strayed away from it, really, for a lot of years. Uh, ended up getting married at a very young age. I was 18, my wife was 17, so was thrown into the world of work. And I was out doing some uh, other things that a young guy who kind of feels like his life got stolen from him, uh, doing some bad things. And, uh, you know, it really went that way. I struggled with uh, going through life without a real purpose for a really long time. I worked with a guy before I retired who uh, was a good friend of mine at work, and uh, he was a little different than everybody else out there. You know, he was kind of quiet and, you know, didn't cuss or go out drinking or any of that stuff. And we got close and uh, really liking the friendship we had. And then one day at work, uh, he, he collapsed. Uh, and it turned out that he had a big tumor on his brain. Within like a year or two, he passed away. And I had become close with his, with his wife, you know, trying to do things we could do at work to support the family. And, you know, we did some fundraisers and stuff for her. And, and I just couldn't believe the, uh, the attitude she had through all of this, how she was so strong and, and able to, to get through it. I even asked her one time, you know, how can you be so strong through all this? And she said, well, my church family has a big part in that. So I started church shopping for the first time in 40 years, and uh, the first place I went was Metro. And uh, I go sit in there, and the lady that I had talked to, I didn't know what church she went to, she was sitting in the pew in front of me. I took that as a sign right there that this is where God wanted me. You know, I, have, I don't have the greatest attention span, and I'd go on Sunday, and boy, Sunday evening, I got the Bible open, and I'm going to Monday, still good, and then about Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, the, the fire's dampening a little bit, so I, I knew I needed more. I took it to God in prayer, and I said, you know, what, what can I do? I, I want more. I went to a, a fundraising golf tournament, and uh, there was a couple guys in my group that I didn't know, and there was this one weird guy that I'd never met. Uh, when I say weird, I say that because he was a lot like me. Within 10 minutes, we were just hitting it off. We were roasting each other's swings, and we were just having a great time. And uh, I asked him, you know, you go to church? And he said, yeah, I go to Metro. And I'm like, me too. And uh, I said, I've been thinking about joining a small group. He goes, well, I just so happened to run a small group. And I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing here. I knew I needed to go to small group, but I wouldn't because I didn't feel educated enough or Christian enough. I'm like, I'm gonna go to somebody's house or go go some restaurant and get around all these really knowledgeable Christians and I'm gonna be sitting there, you know, with a spotlight on me and it's not like that at all. It is not like, that. it's normal people who are trying to learn more about Jesus and how to follow Jesus. And it's, it, would, it would be no different than you're sitting around with a group of your friends talking about football. Well, we just happen to be a group of friends that talk about Jesus.